Welcome! Grab a color rect, give it a shader material, and a new shader. Type is canvas item, because it's 2D. The fragment function is run once on every pixel in the affected area, and determines what the final color of that pixel will be. In the fragment function, we use this texture function, with screen texture and screen UV, to read what's on the screen behind the subject. Screen UV is the position of this particular pixel. If we make the final colour equal to this, then it's invisible, it just takes what's on the screen behind it and re-renders it. Outside fragment, uniform float CA strength. Uniform variables can be changed from outside the shader. Inside fragment, make a vec2 CA offset, a vector that has CA strength as its X component and no Y component, and multiply it by screen pixel size. So for instance, if CA strength is 20, then CA offset will be a vector with a size of 20 pixels. Then use the texture function to sample what's on the screen three times, but with CA offset added to or subtracted from the UV coordinates. This means we'll sample from different places on the screen texture, one red, one green, one blue. Dot RG and B at the end means we're only taking the red, green, and blue channels from these pixels, respectively. Colors are VEC4, and let's make the final color a combination of the red, green, and blue that we just got, with an alpha value of 1, and there you go, chromatic aberration.